Hey everybody, we're going to take a minute here to show you how to install SFML 2.42 uh, to work with your code blocks ID. Um, this should work on later versions of F SFML unless they make uh, big changes. Um, if you want to see how to install an earlier version of SFML, say like 2.1, uh, check out my other video. First thing we want to do is download the correct version of SFML. Um, if we click on the downloads link and click on the latest stable version, we should get to this screen right here. And there's quite a lot of choices for which one you want to work. They all work with um, slightly different compilers. Um, for code blocks, we want this one right here that says GCC uh, 4.92 TDM SJLJ. Um, you'll click on download um, and you will get yourself a uh, folder, a zip file, um, that if you open up, you'll see that um, it'll contain this folder. Um, and what you can do is just uh, you know, drag it onto your desktop, wherever you like to save it, um, just to keep it uh, handy. And then I always um, rename it to SFML. Uh, I get rid of the punctuation, uh, just make it easier to type in here in a minute. Um, and then I put it, um, for this example, I put it in my C drive, um, but you can put it wherever it is handy for you on your computer. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to go into settings and we want to go to compiler. This brings up our global compiler settings. Um, you might have some custom, custom things here, but we really want to go into um, the search directories. So we have two things we want to change in the search directories to set up our um, static linking. So the first thing is we want to go into compiler and we want to set up um, the first thing. We'll just click on add. I've already done it. And you'll type in uh, SFML 242 slash include or you can just browse to where it is. So here on my local disk, you can see here's the SFL 24 folder and we can go into include okay and we'll add that in if we want so that is how we include um, things to compile and then right here we will go to the linker and we link to libraries so this is sfml if we pop it open you can see that it is sfml 242 lib and if we browsed for it you would see that it is in the sfml folder and down here right below include there is the libraries to link, which is the LIB. So once we have those two set up, we want to click over on compiler settings and this little section here that says defines. And we want to make sure we add the words SFML underscore static. So that means we're going to use the static libraries to compile. Um, capitalization and uh, everything matters here. So for all of this, um, be precise, SFML static. And then the last step, and this is the part where it gets a little bit um, tedious the first time you set it up and, and if you have to reset it up, um, this is the part where you always forget something is we want to click on linker settings and you'll see there are a lot of things all of a sudden to add in here. So um, these are the libraries that we want to link and SFML actually um, cares that you add them in a very specific way. So um, what I tend to do um, is I like to um, add all the ones that have an SFML prefix in the order that they are supposed to go, and then I add in the smaller ones. It's actually very confusing on the SFML website. Um, they have a list of these, but they don't actually um, list them in a way that, that um, makes them easy to add. So, um, so you don't need to add all of these for every program. You'll notice that there's, for instance, audio and network. Um, that are um, maybe not part of what you're doing. Um, everybody, if you're doing graphics, will have graphics, windows, and system. So I'd encourage you to go, and I'll add these into the notes below, is just add these one at a time. You'll do add, and you'll do SFML, SFML, dash graphics, dash S, dash D. And you'll click on OK, and then it'll pop up in the list. So just quickly, we go graphics, window, audio, network, and system. The reason system's at the bottom is that it sort of loads them from the bottom up, 
And so these ones are all dependent on system. Um, and so it needs to be the last of the SFMLs um, in terms for everything to work. All of these things are dependencies that are probably um, already installed on your computer in some fashion um, to let you use um, all these libraries. And you just have to be specific that they're all there. So um, at the very bottom um, is AUG, Vorbis, Vorbis File, Vorbis Ank, Flack, and OpenAL. These ones are all, all those ones I just highlighted, are all for the audio. And so if you're using audio, you need these ones right here. Um, if you don't need the audio, you can you can delete those. Um, similarly, the um, networking one just needs this WS232, which is the, uh, I believe, WinSock. Um, so if you take, if you don't need those ones, you can take them out. And then the rest of them are uh, things for doing graphics and Windows. So once you've typed all of those in, uh, you should be ready to run your first program. So if I click on OK, I will get to this thing. I'm using the Pong uh, demo from the examples folder. Um, I'm going to run it. And I should get my nice window here that says SFML Pong. I'm going to start the game. And you can see I'm playing Pong. And I lost. And I see that my installation is working exactly how I want. So that's a quick setup again uh, for SFML. Um, hopefully that was useful. Um, I'm going to show these one more time. Include lib defines, and then here are the items that you want to have in your libraries. Cool. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, please leave any comments uh, and I will uh, take them into consideration. Have a good day.